Hi guys, here we are at Dominican Big Leaguers, my personal favorite cigar factory. Uh, my second time here doing a video. They uh, had a special invite here from inviting people from all over the place, people they do business with. and I'm just doing a panoramic sweep here, a bunch of good folks just enjoying different flavors, different cigars. And, uh, and uh, we're trying everything under the sun. I'll do uh, a little bit more video later on. Right now I'm just going to, I got a crema torpedo waiting for me and a little bit more chocolate coffee. And we'll catch up with you a little bit later. Hey guys, you're back here with Barry and we're going to be setting up here for kind of a little mock cigar rolling. So what they're going to be doing is they're going to let everybody roll the cigar. They're first watching uh, a true expert right now. And then each one of them is going to have their own materials to roll an actual cigar. And then they're going to be judging it on three different merits. I'm going to find out what they are uh, right now. But Speak, Hey, what were the three merits you were judging it on? We're going to uh, judge it on the smoothness. Or the tightness, the smoothness, uh, wrinkle less, and the head. Okay, so they're going to be using those three uh, descriptions to judge out that. And we'll catch this on film. Have a little fun with these guys, okay? We'll catch up with you soon. Bye. That out and stretch that leaf a little bit. Set it down. Keep in mind, I'm not a cigar roller. I just own a cigar shop and I talk a lot. And then what you want to do is as close to this as possible. And you want to do one smooth cut. Because every time you lift this up, you'll have a little jagged edge. So then you want to go in here and find that same spot you started and kind of stretch it and do one long cut. And keep moving it out. So if you notice, I have one, one smooth cut, but you can almost see right there where I did it, where I picked it up. And then this guy here, mostly perpendicular. Now set this aside because you're going to need to cut a little hole. Okay, come on, Casino. Barrera, I'm Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Alright, so I do this a little bit differently when I am left-handed. I'll put it like this. I don't cut the end. I don't like cutting the end. It gives me a little more play. Take it, kind of get it started on, on the thing here. And then squeeze, lift, and pull. So if you notice, every time I do that, I pull this, I lift, and I pull out. Now at that point, I'm going to put some glue right here. Now we take the chaveta. And to make sure I have enough up here. You put, if you put glue in both fingers, it helps. And just kind of wrap it around. In this case, it's best to cut a little bit of the inside because you're just using the outside of that. And just kind of roll it down. See the way I'm, I'm pulling it down to try to get all the way around it? you got to be a little gentle with this part because this is where you can break the leaf, especially on the vein. So that's done there. What I'm going to do is kind of put some glue on there. That, that's kind of nasty. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Take that one piece. You want to find a part that doesn't have a vein if possible. And make sure the veins are pointing up. So you want to make sure the veins are pointing up. Put some glue right there. Do the circle, 
I'm a little bit theatrical, as everybody I'm sure has figured out, so I like to do it like this. I like to set this on here and then pull it up. It's kind of cool. Now this is important. When you do this, you kind of need to have both fingers symmetrically going down. Otherwise, it'll slide out of the way and it'll look like shit. And then this. And that is the best I can do. Okay, here we are with my buddy Paul from Team Cabrera. Looking about as wrinkled as my sheets in the bed, but we're working on it. And you can tell, I don't know the guy's name, but the previous guy, you can tell he's had experience. It's not as, as easy as it looks. You can see how, like anything, practice. But it's interesting. I know Paul loves his cigars, so he's enjoying this, I could tell. I was just told the man to beat is a gentleman named Joe. And we'll catch on that. And Does this affect your, you know, work relationship? <laughs> yeah, it does, actually. <laughs> Getting a second hand here from the professional who works at the company. Everyone's having a good time. You can tell by the noise in the background. Everyone's saying, no, no, no problema, no problem, mucho, mucho películas, no problem. We're here over at DBL, Dominican Big Leaguer. My favorite little cigar factory in todo país. Okay, the experts coming to the rescue again, kind of unrolling a lot of what was rolled. We'll pick this up a little bit later when we're on the second part of our cigar day with a couple of buddies, Alduino, David, and Paul. Paul's really, I can see the sweat breaking right now on the forehead. He's really concentrating. Anybody smell Brill Cream? He's really concentrating. a boy. He's got it figured out. He's got it figured out. I can already tell this is not as easy as it looks. And we'll catch up with you a bit, bit later on during our cigar day.
stand and in five minutes we're gonna eat because we know that you already came from most of the people from the United States right now and you are hungry. So in five minutes we're gonna be ready to eat, we're gonna have fun, in one hour we're gonna make the factory tour and then we're gonna come back to keep enjoying. Thank you so much Arduino for bringing his group from Puerto Plata and thank you, Jose Manuel, our rep in Dominican, that have been doing a great job. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Angel. Thanks, everybody. Thank you for your support. Thank Artesanía Estrella family. Thanks, TBR. Thanks, our employees. It is impossible if I don't share this party with our employee because I don't have employees. I have family, remember that. Everybody here is equal, and this is very important. So you, we're gonna have fun. If anything you need, you can talk to me, or you can talk with Tony, or you can talk with Kurt with my partner. So whatever you need, we're gonna be here to support you, and we're gonna have fun, all right? Thank you so much, enjoy. Hey! Well, guys, uh, when these boys roll out a cigar, a uh, special invite. They roll out a special invite here. We got the typical music, live bands, unlimited cigars. We got fresh beef, sancocho, Dominican sancocho. We got arroz. We got pollo, a cerdo, a just a bueno tiempo por todo. Everyone's having a great time. And I sure love these little get-togethers. They got the beer, the rum, my kind of thing. <laughs>